Hi guys, today we are working on math lesson seven. Oh no, it's not even a number. It's just called problem solving. So we're working on problem solving and it's called using a table. Now we already know how to make tables. So this should actually be pretty simple for you guys. So the first thing it says is a farmer picked 328 beans, 387 carrots and 321 peppers. Fill in the missing information in the table. So you can go ahead and write across from the number of the vegetables. So 328, so that was beans. So you can just write, um, let me get, let me do a text box. We all know how my handwriting can be with those pen tools. Beans, carrots, how many was carrots? Carrots was 387. And then the last column was peppers, and the peppers was 321. So we will move this here. Peppers. And then text box, and that was 321. So now we have to use the box to answer the next couple questions. Did the farmer pick more beans or peppers? Go ahead and look at your chart beans or peppers well 328 and 321 beans is bigger so you can go ahead and write beans in that blank i'm going to let you write that without me writing it so you have to follow along and not just copy my answers so i trust that you will do that uh the next one what vegetable did the farmer pick least least is the littlest so which one was the least picked which is the smallest number of peppers, 321. So peppers was the smallest. And what is the order of vegetables from the greatest to the least? So you just have to write the vegetable down. So greatest to least, so biggest to smallest. So it would be carrots and then beans and then peppers because 387 and then 328 and then 321. So carrots and then beans and then peppers. Let's go down to the bottom. Amy skipped counts by fives from 400 to 500. Gianna skip counts by tens from 400 to 500. What numbers do both of the girls say? Ooh, this can be tricky. So if you count by fives and if you count by tens, which numbers are they both going to say? So 400, 405, 410, 415, 420, 425, 430. So Amy's going to say all the numbers that have fives in them at the end in the ones place. Gianna though is not going to say any of those numbers that have the five in the ones place because she's just counting by tens. They're just going up in the tens place. So if you think about it, let me write something down to help us out. So if you think about it, if Amy says 400 and then 405 and then 410, and then 415, and then 420. So that's what Amy's gonna say. Now, let's think about what would Gianna say. Now, Gianna, she would say 400, but then she would not say 405. She would say 410, oh, not 419. She would say not 415 because she's counting by 10, so it would be 420 goodness 420 so Gianna and Amy are both going to say 400 they're both going to say 410 they're both going to say 420 so they're going to both say those numbers that go up by tens because if you think about counting by fives you count five and then up five more which equals ten so they both say 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490. So they both say all those numbers and let me make this smaller. I think that will help. 
So both girls say all of these numbers. Now that was kind of tricky and hard to explain, but I hope that you kind of followed along. If it it would be easier if we said Amy skip counts by fives from one from um, zero to one hundred, and Gianna skips counts by tens from zero to one hundred. But of course, we're doing those big three digit numbers, so we can do it. Let's go ahead on to the next page on the back. And I'm doing the whole thing with you. Actually, no, I'm not going to do the whole thing with you today because it's only a front and a back side today. So you are in charge of doing the back side all by yourself. You know what? I think that you can do it. If you have a hard time, go ahead and ask for help from a parent. But I have faith in you guys. You can do it. 